वेलकम दिस वीडियो इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच पार्ट वन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री प्लीज गो अहेड एंड फर्स्ट वॉच दैट एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो लेटर ऑन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सम अदर फॉर्मूले ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लॉन्ट दैट साइंस रेसी प्रोकल इज कोसेक कॉस रेसिप्रोकल इज सेक एंड टैन का रेसिप्रोकल है कॉट तो साइन का रेसिप्रोकल है कोसेक कॉस का रेसिप्रोकल है सेक एंड टैन का रेसिप्रोकल है कॉट नाउ इफ यू डू रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ थ्री अपॉन फोर वॉट यू गेट फोर अपॉन थ्री इफ यू डू रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ थ्री वॉट यू विल गेट वन अपॉन थ्री सो इफ यू डू रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कोसेक वॉट यू विल गेट वन अपॉन कोसेक सो इफ यू राइट द फॉर्मूला बिटवीन साइन एंड कोसेक वॉट यू शुड गेट साइन थीटा इज वन अपॉन कोसेक थीटा बिकॉज साइन रेसिप्रोकल इज कोसेक सो साइन इज रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कोसेक एंड इफ यू डू रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कोसेक वॉट यू विल गेट वन अपॉन कोसेक कोसेक्स रेसिप्रोकल इज वन अपॉन कोसेक लाइक थ्री रेसिप्रोकल इज वन अपॉन थ्री इन द सेम मैनर सो साइन थीटा इज वन अपॉन कोसेक थीटा एंड वाइस ऑफ वर्सा कोसेक थीटा इज वन अपॉन साइन थीटा बिकॉज कोसेक इज रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ साइन आई होप आई एम वेरी क्लियर and if you take cosec theta on the other side what you will get sin into cosec is equal to 1 that is if you multiply both of them the answer will always remain 1 because they both are reciprocals of each other so 3 upon 4's reciprocal is 4 upon 3 if you multiply 3 upon 4 and 4 upon 3 everything will get cancelled numerator denominator answer would become 1 i hope that's clear in the similar manner cos ka reciprocal hai sec so cos theta is given by 1 upon sec theta and sec theta is given by 1 upon cos theta and if you multiply both of them the answer is 1 and in the same manner tan is 1 upon cot because they both are reciprocals of each other and cot theta is 1 upon tan and if you multiply both of them the answer is 1 so these set of formula gives us relation between the reciprocals of trigonometric ratio i hope this is clear so Let's quickly recap. Sine's reciprocal is cosec, so sine is one upon cosec. Cosec is one upon sine. Similarly, cos is one upon sec. Sec is one upon cos. Tan is one upon cot, and cot is one upon tan. Let's move ahead and learn the next formula. Sine ratio we all know is opposite upon hypotenuse. Cos ratio is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Now, if you divide both of them, what you will get? Opposite upon hypotenuse side. the whole thing upon adjacent side upon hypotenuse side correct now to divide something is to multiply by its reciprocal so if we have to divide these two it means that we have to multiply the first one by the reciprocal of the denominator right so opposite upon hypotenuse the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of denominator which is hypotenuse upon adjacent now hypotenuse hypotenuse will get cancelled out and what you are left with is opposite side upon adjacent side and we have learned this in part 1 that opposite side upon adjacent side o a o a o a opposite upon adjacent is tan so we can say that tan ratio is opposite upon adjacent so sin upon cos is equal to tan ratio correct because sin upon cos is also opposite upon adjacent and tan ratio is also opposite upon adjacent so sin upon cos is equal to tan so this is the next formula which is also very important which is the formula tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta so if you divide sin and cos what do you get you always get tan theta i hope this is very clear so now let's move to the next part which is trigonometric table for some standard angles so we are expected to know trigonometric ratios for some standard angles 0 30 45 60 90 ye sab angles ke trigonometric values hame pata hone chahiye sin cos tan cot sec cosec all six of them now how to write down this table without memorizing it we'll share a trick with you but it is preferable to learn all the values trick is just to make the table if you forget the values but better hota hai ki hum values learn kar le 
So how to get sine theta? Let's quickly understand. What you simply do is write down 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then divide each number by 4. And then take the square root of all the numbers in the manner as it is shown. So what we will write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Divide each number by 4 and then take the square root of all the numbers. And then simplify to get the answer of sine ratio. Let us see how. 0 upon anything is 0. So root of 0 upon 4 will become 0. Root 1 is 1 and root 4 is 2. It's 1 upon 2. When you simplify this, 2 and 4 will get cancelled out and what you will get? 2 1s are 2 and denominator mein aayega 2 2s are 4. So when you simplify it, root 1 is 1 and niche 2 tha, so it becomes root 2 because root 2, 2 is not a perfect square, so it will stay inside the root. So it's 1 upon root 2. Now this, they both are not able to be like, we cannot simplify that further. They are not, uh, they do not have any common factors. So root 3 will be root 3 and root 4 will be 2. I hope I am very clear because 3 is not a perfect square. Now 4 and 4 will get cancelled, answer is 1. So root of 1 will be equal to 1. Now these values are nothing but the values of sine ratio. So sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is 1 upon 2, sine 45 is 1 upon root 2, sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 and sine 90 is 1. It is so simple to get sine ratio. What we have to do is simply 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, divide every number by 4 and then take the square root and write down the answer and you get the sine ratio. Then how to obtain cos? Cos is even further simpler. What you have to do is simply reverse of sine. So just reverse the sine line, you will get the cos. But the pieces are likhna start kar do, reverse order mein likhna start kar do, to aapko cos mil jayega, which is the last value of sine 1, that will become the first value of cos, which is the second last value of sine root 3 upon 2, which will become the second value, then 1 upon root 2, then 1 upon 2, and then last means 0. So just we have to write it in the reverse order of the sine line to get the cos. It is so simple. Now let's talk about tan. How did we learn tan? Tan is nothing but sine divided by cos. Abhi abhi humne formula kiya iske pehle. Sine and cos ko divide karenge to kya milega? Tan milega. Abhi haa pe dekho. We have sine 0 which is 0 and cos 0 which is equal to 1. So tan 0 will be 0 upon 1. In dono ko divide karenge to tan milte jayega. So let's quickly understand how. So 0 upon 1 that is sine 0 as I discussed upon cos 0 which will be 1 will give you tan of 0, 0 upon anything is 0. Similarly, sin 30 is 1 upon 2, cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. If you divide both of them, what you will get tan. Now to divide by a number is to multiply by its reciprocal. So you can write this as the numerator which is 1 upon 2 multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator which is 2 upon root 3. 2, 2 will get cancelled out and you are left with 1 in the numerator and root 3 in the denominator. So the answer for this is 1 upon root 3. Similarly, sine 45 is 1 upon root 2 divided by cos 45 is 1 upon root 2. Same thing to divide is to multiply by its reciprocal. So we have to do 1 upon root 2 multiplied by reciprocal of 1 upon root 2 which is root 2 upon 1. Root 2 root 2 will get cancelled. Answer is 1 upon 1 which is 1. In the same manner, sine 60, root 3 by 2, divided by 1 upon 2, then you will do the reciprocal part, 2, 2 will get cancelled, answer is root 3 upon 1, which is root 3. And the last one, it is sine 90 upon cos 90, which is 1 upon 0, correct? In mathematics, anything upon 0 is not defined. It is not defined. You cannot divide any number by 0. Remember this. So the value of tan 90 is not defined. So we have covered sine, cos and tan. Sine, cos and tan ka jo reciprocal zero remaining 3 hai. We have done that in part 1. Right? 
So to obtain the next three, we have to just do the reciprocals of sine, cos, and tan. What is the reciprocal of sine? Cosec. So to get the cosec value, we have to do the reciprocal of sine. What is the reciprocal of zero? Zero upon kuch nahi hai, matlab kya hai? Zero upon one hai. Usko reciprocal kar do, to one upon zero aayega. And anything upon zero is not defined. What is the value of sine 30? One upon two. अगर हम उसको रेसिप्रोकल करेंगे तो कोसेक मिलेगा बिकॉज कोसेक किसका रेसिप्रोकल है साइन का है तो अगर हम वन अपॉइंट टू को रेसिप्रोकल करेंगे तो क्या मिलेगा टू अपॉइंट वन विच इज ऑल्सो विच इज नथिंग बट टू सिमिलरली रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ साइन फोर्टी फाइव इज विच इज वन अपॉइंट रूट टू का रेसिप्रोकल है रूट टू अपॉइंट वन विच इज रूट टू सिमिलरली रूट थ्री अपॉइंट टू का रेसिप्रोकल है टू अपॉइंट रूट थ्री एंड वन इज नथिंग बट वन अपॉइंट वन इट्स रेसिप्रोकल इज वन बिकॉज वन रेसिप्रोकल इज वन आई होप दैट इज क्लियर Moving ahead, what is the reciprocal of cos? Sec. So अगर हम cos के line का reciprocal करेंगे तो what we will get is sec. So let's do quickly the reciprocal of cos. One's reciprocal is one. Root three upon two's reciprocal is two upon root three. One upon root two's reciprocal is root two, which is root two upon one. You can say, or just root two. One upon two's reciprocal is two. एंड जीरो जीरो अपॉन वन है उसका रेसिप्रोकल करेंगे तो वन अपॉन जीरो होगा एंड वन अपॉन जीरो इज नॉट डिफाइंड आई होप दैट इज क्लियर द लास्ट वन विच इज लेफ्ट इज द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ टैन विच इज कॉट सो इफ यू डू द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ टैन वॉट यू विल गेट इज कॉट सो टैन ऑफ जीरो इज रेसिप्रोकल जीरो इज रेसिप्रोकल इज वन अपॉन जीरो विच इज नॉट डिफाइंड वन अपॉन रूट थ्री इज रेसिप्रोकल इज रूट थ्री and one's reciprocal is 1 1 upon 1 which is 1 and root 3 root 3 matlab root 3 upon 1 hota hai uska reciprocal karenge to kya milega 1 upon root 3 and this is not defined if you remember not defined kabhi hota hai jab denominator mein zero hota hai correct jab denominator mein zero hota hai tab not defined hota hai agar hum uska reciprocal karenge to numerator mein zero chala jayega and agar numerator mein zero hoga matlab zero upon something and zero upon something is always is always zero i hope that is clear so when you do reciprocal of not defined remember this you will always get zero as the answer so that's all for this video let's quickly recap what we did in this video we did the relation of reciprocals of trigonometric ratios then we did a formula tan theta is sin upon cos and then we did this table i have shared a trick to write down this table on your own but that doesn't mean that you don't have to learn the values it is better to always learn that's all for this video i hope you found the video informative and interesting do not forget to like the channel uh, like the video and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any further updates see you in the next video where we will cover some other trigonometric formula that will be part 3 of the trigonometric series and lastly if you have anything to share or any doubts you can feel free to comment down below we'll be more than happy to help you thanks for watching